Indiana lawmakers are trying to implement recommended changes to improve law enforcement training. CBS 4's Kristen Eskow shows us one of those proposals. Officials at the Indiana State House are keeping law enforcement a priority this session. State Senator Michael Kreider has introduced a bill that would expand the state's law enforcement training board. That board is important in um, making sure that the standards that are in place across the state related to training, hiring, are standardized and uniform. The state's law enforcement training board currently consists of 17 members. Kreider's bill would add four new positions for civilians or people outside law enforcement. It does give you the, the, uh, the opportunity to have more uh, perspectives at the table, and um, those are important. Kreider says under the proposal, a few law enforcement positions currently on the board would be eventually replaced with civilians. It's part of Governor Eric Holcomb's 2022 agenda. So we'll have more input on a statewide basis uh, to make sure um, um, that we're um, operating. Uh, most efficiently and with equity always in mind. The proposal is one of several changes in the works following a third party review of Indiana's state level law enforcement agencies last year. Among the recommendations, more specific statewide standards for police training. That includes curriculum on subjects like implicit bias and de-escalation. Training is key for any for the success of any law enforcement agency. Deputy Chief Gary Woodruff of the Lawrence Police Department says he believes more community input, both at the state and local level, is key to improving policing. Our profession as a whole needs to continue to evolve and meet the expectations of the citizens we serve. From the Indiana State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News.